Greetings, YouTubers from around the world. This is especially to the saints. The saints that put their trust in the Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, or Jesus Christ. We're definitely living in the last hours. We all know that. If you truly have the Spirit of God inside of you, if you have the anointing, which is a wonderful gift because it gives you discernment, wisdom, and revelation, then you know that we're living in the last hours. You just know it. I mean, you see the uh, the Watchmen reports and you see the news all over the world that the mainstream media is not showing. And this is because they're trying to socially condition us. From the coronavirus, to the masks, to the vaccine. It's all social conditioning. There's so many frightened people out there. So many people that are afraid of death. Let me tell you something. If you're a Christian, and let's say you're in your deathbed because you have cancer. That's not your deathbed. That's your launching pad. Launching pad to eternal life. Where you will live and dwell with all the saints and Jesus Christ and God himself. He will, he will reveal himself to you. You will see him in his glory and his majesty. Please stand firm in these end days. I've been through a lot. My, my checking account is minus $343. Since December 16th. And because of a friend. I've been able to. To stay afloat. The, what I'm trying to tell you is that God always provides. It's not my friend. It's it, He has the Holy Spirit too. And God works through people. Sometimes he works. He works in whatever way he wants to work. And remember that just like. In the book of Isaiah, it says that just as the heavens are higher than the than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts, and so are my ways higher than your ways. So do not lean on your own understanding. So, fellow saints, Encourage and comfort each other with these words that one day, in the twinkling of an eye, when we don't expect it, there will be the shout of the archangel, the sound of the trumpet, of God's trumpet, and first the dead that believe in God shall be saved. Comma. Their bodies will be made incorruptible and they will go into the clouds to be and dwell with the Lord forever. And then those who are still living, our bodies will be made incorruptible and we also shall go into the clouds to be with our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, where we will dwell in the kingdom of heaven for eternity. So be of good cheer and encourage each other. Okay? We're not going to suffer any much longer. We really aren't. Have faith. This little girl right here, I want to show you her. She is a miracle from God. Three years ago, she... Um, I love you too, baby. Three years, three years ago, she... Um, Got septic shock. She got a strep throat, and then she got septic shock, and, uh, and, um... And I died for two minutes. And she wanted to cardiac arrest for two minutes. Mm. Two minutes. And she went into asystole, and if any of and you know I'm about pre-hospital medicine, that's one of the most lethal rhythms, because there's not much you can do with it except give epinephrine and, um, and amiodarone. You can't really shock that rhythm. It's not a shockable rhythm, it's a... It's a rhythm that usually deteriorates into, into, um, into, um, can I have some? no, no, no. It's usually a rhythm that, that, uh, that, uh, is non-salvageable. But let me tell you, because of the grace of God and the, 
and the majesty and the amazing grace and the, and the love of God our Father, Elohim. And through the shed blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died on the cross for all of our sins, so that whoever should believe may not perish but have everlasting, but have everlasting life. And they will be saved. He's the one that, that saved my daughter. You know, the, doc, the doctors did a great job. But she was intubated. Um, like I said, she was in cardiac, cardiac arrest for two minutes. When I showed up at the hospital, they had just finished resuscitating her. She was put on the ECMO machine. She couldn't, uh, she couldn't even walk anymore. They had to teach her how to walk through physical uh, rehab. And then two and, a half later, two and a half weeks later, she was discharged from the hospital. That is a miracle from God. And all the glory and honor and dominion and adoration belongs to Him and Him alone. Daddy. And I love Him and I dedicate my life to Him. And you know what? This happened before I was even reborn. You know? Huh. God is always with us. And I don't know. Some of us were predestined before we were even born to be in the book of life. And some of us aren't. I don't understand that mystery, but all I know is that the Holy Spirit is one of the most beautiful gifts that God can give you because it allows you to discern, it gives you wisdom, and it gives you so much revelation. And it says in the last days, there will be, there'll be so much increased knowledge that... Um, that we will uh that that the uh older men will have visions and dreams and the young men will prophesy. My cat's gonna sleep and so, with you and so and so I tired. just wanted to I just wanted to tell you happy new year and hang on, have faith. I know things are tough. Believe me, I go through it. I really do go through it. I am suffering for Christ. I can honestly tell you that. But I got to this point where, you know where the apostle says that rejoice in the sufferings of Christ. And, and I was like, how can you rejoice in the sufferings of Christ? But I got to this point where I'm suffering and I'm like, you know what? This shows me that I'm on the right path. And I know I'm on the right path. But, but it, it's a confirmation. And, and something inside of me felt good. And... Remember that it is it is in our it is in our it is in our weakness that God's strength is perfected. So I wish you um, a very happy new year to all the um, our Jewish friends. Um, when you hear this tomorrow, um, Shabbat Shalom, and um, all glory to our our God Elohim and and our Savior Yeshua Hamashiach. God bless you all and. Uh, I'll see you in the clouds one day, my fellow saints. You know who you are. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.